Hey guys, it's Troy. Welcome to my desk. It's pen mail time, and I'll show you some recent arrivals. Some showed up here just a little while ago, uh, and I'll be unboxing those, and a couple I've had for just a little while, as it was, uh, since uh, my last recording. So, uh, by request, every so often I'll get a request to do a video, and uh, I got uh, somebody who said that they would like to see some reviews on pens like this right here. This happens to be a Jinhao 990. It's got the little pointy clip to it. Obviously it's a clear demonstrator. I have not inked this sucker up yet. Uh, so that's a Jinhao 990 and its sister is a Jinhao 991. Uh, that's got the square clip to it. So neither one of these, uh, I, probably you haven't seen any reviews of these. So I got these uh, sent to me, just got them within the last couple of days, and I'll be doing reviews on those uh, sometime soon. Now, Waterman CFs. I really like Waterman CF pens, and one of the things about it is uh, you kind of need ink cartridges to go in them. Um, I looked previously, and I wish I had bought them, but there are converters, and there was one website that had them for about uh, $12 a piece. I wish I had bought them when I had the opportunity, because I went back later on and said, okay, it's time to go buy them, and they weren't carrying them at all. Uh, since they weren't carrying them at all, um, then... <sighs> Ah, uh, poo, you know. Uh, and then other websites had them for $25, $30, $35 a piece. So I like my Waterman CFs. And these cartridges, the thing is, because they're old, you know, CFs aren't really around anymore. But you get these, and you're going to find that a good amount of ink has already been evaporated out of those. I don't care about that, because what I'm going to do is puncture them. I'm going to flush them out, and I'm going to fill them with ink that I want to have in them. So I don't really care what color ink is in the cartridges. I don't care anything about um, using the original ink. I'm going to take these, puncture them, flush them, put what I want, and uh, fill my Waterman CF. So uh, those are the ones that have shown, shown up here recently. On another one of my videos here recently, I talked about um, an Osmoroid, and I'm pretty sure that this is what it's going to be. I'd gone to a, um, uh, when I was traveling for work, on my way home I took a quick stop at a, uh, an antique shop, and they had an Osmoroid for sale, and uh, it was the only fountain pen in the entire store. So I took a look at it, and I wanted $38 for it. I said, nah, that's a little expensive. I'm not going to pay out $38. Bucks. This particular package here came out of uh, Salem, New Hampshire, and uh, I'm a New Hampshire boy. I grew up uh, in New Hampshire. I know where Salem is. There's a second pen, or second or third pen I've ordered from actually a seller uh, that comes out of... Uh, New Hamster, as I affectionately call them. So, but that's where I grew up uh, before I moved to North Carolina. That's where I lived. Been here in North Carolina since 1988. So, been here actually the majority of my life. So, um, I ordered an Osmoroid number 65, which seemed to be the model that was uh, in the store. Um, and so, I checked on eBay and I said, all right, let me see what that pen was worth really because I thought 38 bucks was a little expensive didn't appreciate the price that they were trying to, to gouge me for here there at the store for an unknown pen obviously it was a low-end pen I knew it wasn't worth you know, $38 uh, so I found this one online same model identical model for about 15 so now granted this one is not in the most spectacular of condition but the deal is neither was the one in the store. Now you notice this one here has got more of a, a standard style clip, uh, standard style um, nib on it. And let's see how well uh, they come out. Because Osmoroids are supposed to be much like Esterbrooks and that the nib should unscrew. So I can get it out, but you can see there's some old ink and goo, and that's what I expect when I get a uh, when I get an old pen. So I'm going to take that apart. Um, I'm going to clean this sucker up, try to get it back to its former glory a little bit. It probably needs a, a new sack. That wouldn't surprise me either. So let's see. I don't know. I'll have to take a look, take it apart, and check out that sack. But 
I'm not hearing it crunch, because usually if you hear it crunch, you know that you definitely got to put on a new sack. But I have ink sacks in stock here, um, a couple different sizes. So that's my Osmoroid 65. It's a different nib on it than uh, than it was on the other. The, uh, the one that I've seen in the store had like a burn or a scorch mark, and it was just beat to snot. But this one here is an English-made uh, low-end fountain pen. So I wasn't going to pay no $38 for it, so that was for 15 so let's move on to uh, as I throw this in the trash can next to me let's move on to the purchase that I made a couple days ago that just showed up here see I got this um, I decided to go ahead and try Goulet pens again um, when they had fountain pen day they kinda ticked me off because their online uh, system was really messing up on the prices that were being charged for uh, their ink samples they were doing like an ink sample palooza deal uh, and uh, I literally had put several hundred dollars worth of stuff in my basket and by the time I went to go check out a lot of those ink sample prices uh, went up by 20 cents a pop and apparently they had a problem because I wasn't the only one who had the problem uh, but uh, other people had found the same thing and um, so alright I just ditched all that out of my cart and I haven't ordered from them since uh, but I went ahead and, and did this just because they had uh, a couple of pens that I thought I might give it a shot and I felt like buying something and you can see Rachel Goulet's name is on it if you ever get a chance to meet Rachel um, do so uh, she's a real sweetheart uh, she really is. She's. Uh, I know Brian is the face of the company, so you see him on all the videos. Occasionally, you'll see Rachel. I had the good fortune of meeting her um, at the DC Pen Show, and uh, she was a real sweetie. I, I liked her. Um, so Brian's got himself a good woman. So Brian, if you're listening, yes, I just complimented both you and your bride. I actually enjoyed meeting you guys. So, as they are wont to do, they always include a lollipop. Box. And let's see what kind of stuff they threw in. Alright, empty box now. Alright, they had these little note cards that they uh, use and they sell. So for they had these on clearance for a couple of bucks. I went ahead and, and got some note cards. Uh, let's see, thank you for your support. Standard. They always hand write a note uh, that's in there, so that's Blue Pearl, in case you're wondering. And you see these note cards, they, they write them on the back of these, so they started selling those. Bubble Wrap. I always keep the bubble wrap. You know why? Just the other day I had to send some stuff um, across country and uh, for work. Instead of throwing it away, I keep it. And as they do often, they use this blue shrink wrap. So one of my kids will get a lollipop later on. I ordered a couple of ink samples. I did the surprise me thing on for two of them. So let's see. They sent me Thomas Edison Diatramentus, which I haven't tried before. Uh, that was one of the surprise me's. I did order Visconti Blue. I specified that one since I hadn't tried that one yet. Uh, Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine must have been the other surprise me uh, because no, 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 Diamine Golden Honey. Maybe I did three surprise me's because none of them look like what I'd ordered. So let me check on that. Matter of fact, let me look here. The invoice, ink sample, surprise me. Three of them. Yep. Okay, I only ordered uh, Visconti Blue, and the rest were surprise me's. Ah, here we go. This one here um, is a uh, preppy, but it, what it is, it is a marker. Um, I use Sharpies all the time, and, uh, you know, for packages, and, and, like, I blocked out my address on that with a Sharpie, so you can use a preppy. I did not order a, a cartridge, um, or a... Uh, converter but it does come with a cartridge so I've got that and I've got some plat quite honestly I've got platinum cartridges already I didn't know that it came with one when I ordered it so just a couple of dollars so that's not a bad thing so I got a marker Lamy 
You can always tell that distinctive Lamy box. Brand new pen that just hit the market, the Lamy Nex, N-E-X-X. -X. Let's take a look. Should remind you of something. I don't know about you guys. That looks like a Faber-Castell loom. So, let's see. They did include a uh, cartridge. So I'll be doing a review of this uh, soon, but it's got the tradition, the Lamy nib rather than a traditional nib. And it was a fairly inexpensive. I think uh, it was only twenty some dollars. So let me take a look. The Lamy Nex, oh, it was thirty-one dollars and sixty cents, including a converter. So I paid the extra several dollars to get a converter. Um, hence the thirty dollars on price tag. So there is the converter. In Conklin, you know, I was uh, leery of ordering it. Um, when Conklin uh, comes out with a pen, I, between Conklin and Monteverde, all by the same company, I've had some problems with nibs, and I have been hesitant to order nibs. Uh, or pens because of the nibs. I don't feel like having to fix them. I don't feel like having to uh, to smooth them or having to fix flow problems with them. This one I went ahead and broke down and got. Now I've been wanting, you know, I've got a Duragraph and, and cracked ice, uh, which I've had, which is halfway decent. Um, this, however, um, a little while ago when they were trying to come out with this color, I do believe they uh, made a mistake in the um, acrylic and they ended up with kind of a, uh, a wine colored so um, uh, they had snatched them up at Goulet mark and sold them for like 35 bucks fairly dirt cheap and they called it the Merlot and I was gonna snatch one of those up actually there were still some in stock at the time I said nah I don't know but what I really wanted though was the Purple Knights So if you're familiar with the Duragraph, you've seen some of these recently in orange. Um, the Merlot was a good looking one, it's a lot lighter color, but purple is one of my favorite colors. One of my wife's favorites too. Actually, I think it is our favorite color for us both. So I went ahead and I ordered the Duragraph in the Purple Nights. So I'll be doing a full review of that eventually. But as you can see, I'm just now getting it because it was just in the box. So let me shove that back in. Close that up. All right, that's my uh, unboxing of some of my uh, pens. I spent $174, including shipping, at Goulet to get uh, just what you see here. So for you know, this stuff here and note cards, that's a uh, hundred bucks shipped. Um, one of the things about Goulet that they don't do that Anderson does, I probably could have gotten all this at Anderson and gotten it shipped free because it's over 50 bucks. Um, I know that Goulet is not offering the free shipping, but it's $93.79 was the total, and plus you add $6.95 for uh, shipping to get it here, then you end up over 100 bucks. So anyway, um, this will I'll, I'm going to look forward to trying some of the new inks that I haven't tried before. I'll try out my new Lamy. I like Lamy Lamy's. I actually wanted uh, the Lamy uh, Ion, um, and I was kind of hoping I would have gotten it for Christmas, but you know somebody didn't listen, <laughs> so I didn't get it for Christmas. Anyway, hey, that's my unboxing. That's my pen mail for today. Talk to you later. Bye.